In this task aid review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this organization platform. Task aid is an organization tool that lets you chat, organize, and get things done using one team friendly platform. So once you log into task aid, you come over to the workspace. Here we can see it's got a few options at the top. We've got projects, tasks, roadmap, templates, and completed. If we first just go over to projects, so here we can see it's got quite a few templates. It's got weekly planner, bullet journal, personal task tracker, distribution team, project board, future prioritization board, content strategy board, and product development board. There is also the option to just start with a blank project. So I'm just gonna do this for now. So here we can give our project name. I've just named mine video editing, and then we can start filling in some checkboxes. So the checkboxes will automatically come up. If you just click enter, then that will create a new one. And then you can just type in there, whatever it is you need to do. There's quite a few different options for the checkboxes. If we highlight that, we've got the option to change the format. We can set it to large heading, small heading, check one, check two, check three, bullet point one, bullet two, bullet three, paragraph, number, or letter. I'm going to leave ours as a checkbox for now. There's also the options to unindent and indent, as well as setting it to bold, italic, underline, mark it as complete. As we can see, that puts a line through it. Or we can also set the highlight color. If we just click on there, it brings up loads more colors. You also have the option to insert an emoji at the end. We also have the option of dragging these and moving them around as well as the option to add a new block. So if we clicked on add block, we can choose from those options. If we hover over one of the checkboxes and click on the plus, we can set the due date. So if I click on there, I could set the due date for tomorrow. We can have it repeat daily. So we could get a notification at the time of the event all the way up to one day before the event. There's also the option for assign. If we click on there, then we could assign this to a member of our team. I've obviously only got myself, but the more people you've got, the more people you can assign it to. There's the option for comment. If you wanted to add a comment, you can just type that in the box there and we can see the comment displays under it. We also have the option to upload a file. We can choose from computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, Instagram, or Box. We can embed, set a timer, or choose to react. As we can see at the top here, this is currently set to default view. We could also select board, where it will set it out as a board, calendar, which will display it as a calendar, action, mind map, and organization chart. Obviously with all of these, you can add blocks and add actions. Once we go back on the workspace, we can see that our task shows here. We have the option of marking it as complete, or we have some more options. These include being able to share it, pin it, star it as a favorite, copy it, move it, or add to templates. Next to projects, we have tasks. We don't have any tasks here at the moment, but obviously if we set a task with a due date, this would display here. We also have our roadmap. Again, any project with a due date will display here. We have our templates and we have completed for when we've marked a project as completed. If I just go back onto templates, we can see we've got quite a few different templates here. So for example, if I just went on weekly planner, then this has got our sort of ready to go template. As we can see there, we've got goals and we can just add our different checklist goals. We can add our tasks for each day and we can add our notes at the bottom. Of course, all this can be customized. You know, we could add more checkboxes or we could add blocks or change the titles. We also have the option to create a folder. So if we went onto new folder, add a title there, go on new folder. If you had a lot going on, you could have multiple folders, have them all organized properly. Above our workspace, we have shared with me. If obviously any projects were shared with you, they would display here. We have starred. So obviously, as we saw on our project before, you have the option to star it. If we selected that, it would show here. We have calendar, any upcoming tasks or tasks with a due date will show here. We have my tasks. So if any tasks were assigned to us, then they would show up here. 
And finally, we have recent. You also have the option to create a new workspace. So if you click on the plus there, and we can click on create a new workspace. As it says, this will be ideal for new teams. Set the name, pick a color. You can also add a picture or an emoji. And once you're happy, click on new workspace. As we can see, our two workspaces display here, and we can just click between them. You could obviously create a new project for one and a new project for the other. Right at the very top, we also have a share option where it will give us a link that we can invite people to our workspace. You can also do this by email or username. We also have a little plus, which is the quick add. If we click on there, we can type anything and add that to a specific workplace or folder or project and so on. And then finally, we have the activity button which will show us any other activity, like if we've assigned something to someone or something has a due date. And that's just about everything. So what did I think of Taskade? Taskade was a brilliant organisation tool. It was easy to create projects and assign them to teammates or set a due date. The templates were also a great feature, which made things even simpler. At times it was maybe a little bit fiddly when creating new projects, but in a real world scenario, I think this would run very smooth. I would definitely recommend Taskade. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.